Okay, hi. So, um, yeah, this is a commentary guide for my Tinkerdip setup. Um, something that I wanted to do a while ago, but I wanted to make sure that I understood perfectly this uh, every single aspect of it before making a guide because there's so many things that I couldn't understand before even recently. So here's yeah, here's a guide. Um, so first of all, yeah, yeah just to show it for example. That's and second one I'll wait because the second one is a little different. Okay, not the best one. Here, perfect. So that's pretty much like here in this video I get it 29 times in a row. That's not even my PB. I get it 53 time. Uh, 53 is my PB on how many sector I can get. So the reason why I can get it so often is there's a few differences with the one that everyone does or normally does. First of all, I don't do any stick input or barely. So at start up, Mario can see down. It it shows like if I'm not holding, but I'm already like holding here. Like this is when I you buffer, buffer camera. Uh, hold up. You just you let yourself load up. Medium high kick here, it's important to land around here because technically the fastest way is to be more, to walk less as le little possible and long jump as fast as possible, but I intentionally go on the ledge here because of what's important is not how fast you go in the water, it's to go in the, far the water in the corner, especially for RT. So getting in the slope here, long jumping, here, right about when you go down the slope, you get a little bit of speed and the, it's set up perfectly so it makes it really easy to get in the corner. That's a little, that's a really important part, finicky, but it's really important. Um, after that, you, right before hitting the, 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 the slope, you want to do Mark, uh, you go back to like two and press C down C right. You dive right before like your before walking up this. You don't want your foot really going up above these. So it's gonna be a big feeling thing. You're gonna have to grind it, but it's this. It's around this spot. The spot. The black spot here. I'm pointing. This is around before you you want to long jump. Uh, you want to dive. Um, A, B, dive in the same time. It has to be both of them at the same at the same time. And then you press one C left. And you continue to hold up. And then you go back to Mario Camp. Continue to hold up the whole time. And then here, this is when like, I do some minor adjustment. Because I'm kind of really used to it. And I could see that if I wanted to get the perfect Insta clip, like, I need it to be a little bit more there. And this is... I'm getting the, the Taz and star here where I, I jump when I'm at the moment I get out of the water. It's, okay, this is one the one to show. Look at my controller here. I go up left. And then I will roll it left, down left. And the moment I'm down left, I'm pressing A. That's... Uh, because that's the way I timed it. And 480, I get that nearly every single time. And you're far in the corner. You're really far. And then I'm holding down when I go up. Allowing me to press A again. And then upright while I go up. And get here to, to the, 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 the wall kick part. Um, if you do the kick, and especially that way, you really want to be as far as possible in the corner to make sure you reach this, because it's very easy with my setup to not reach this ledge grab and to land here. I have to do the back up. Um, let me do the other one. Oh. Same thing here. Little bit of adjustment I you see in the stick, but it's not even. Was it necessary? It's not even this. It was not even necessary. It would have been better to keep holding up, actually. 
So here again, I do the roll thing. Go up left, go down left. The down left here is really important. And then you press A. Oh wait, did I got the, the... Did I got the intestine still here? Okay. I actually timed it. I want to see one. Okay, stop getting it. Please. Okay, stop getting it. There you go. <laughs> okay, so here, do the roll. I pressed it a bit too early, but I'm still in the swimming. I, I, I pre you need to press A and then be active with that because, like you see, I have an input a swim here. Because if you don't input any swim, you're just gonna be like standing AFK in the water, and that's what everyone does. And that's why they get out, they don't get out of water like super late, is because they stand there and they they hold down and they, they're not moving and they wait for the angle to go up. You're already like, look at this, I'm already out here, and I did not even, I didn't got the Taz Insta. It's a nor that's a normal Insta clip that everyone gets. But I input it a swim and I go fast with it. Go upright, long jump in near the, the, the edge. For RT also, I often don't do the kick here because it seems to make ledge, uh, getting the ledge grab here easier. The, the, the buffer kick when you get out of the water. So... Is there anything in my nose? Yeah, I think that's it. Um, can show you more. Less. That isn't stop. There is some backup. I don't think I have it recorded here. If you press C down, C left before Mario Cam, it's still the same, pretty much the same input. When you do like the camera change on the slope, it is very easy to back it up. You see here, I'm I'm swimming. I'm not standing in the water and doing nothing. I'm I input a swim. The only moment I don't input it, well, I do always try to input a swim. But if I don't get insta clip, I won't. I will hold down and wait for Mario to get the angle. That's for sure. But for insta clip, you really don't. So yeah. The, the next few ones, I only do it without the long jump. No, I, I think it's I, around here, but I'll have the, the video link in the description so you can see all of 21.9's Insta clip. So, yeah, I with the Taz Insta, I get um, around 7. Point, uh, for RT, 7.9 is really good with the Taz Insta. You can get faster, but you're kind of rushing it. If you want to do like full on S cam, you get around 7.7, 7.8. And if you do the single star one, it's going to be around 7.6, 7.5, and then 7. Point. But this one is to set up a little bit different where you're literally, there's a few difference in the setup. And it's where it's really easy to miss and really a lot of cringe in it. Um, so I, it's not, that's why it's not going to be in this video. It's really not a necessary thing to learn. Um, and for when you don't get that and stuff, you should be getting, if you get a really, really good swim, you can get 7.9. Uh, but I would suggest around like real, realistically, like an 8.1 log wall kick. Uh, all of these, as Cam I said, it's all for log wall kick. I don't know if I mentioned that already, but. Yeah, okay. Bye-bye.